Today's a great day to be a subscriber to the RC Sailors because I have found a good deal. This airplane is completely ready to fly. Servos, everything. I mean, battery, charger, radio, and all under $100. We haven't seen a deal like this on the channel since probably about three years ago. Airplanes sub 100 just don't exist anymore, but this one does today. A lot of times what happens when we feature something like this on the channel is it's short lived, which is why I say it's a great day to be a subscriber because probably tomorrow or the day after this will either be sold out or the price will have gone up. Even if this is a bad airplane, and if it is, I will tell you, people will still buy this just because of the price point. Because it comes with a radio, the plane, and this is that very durable, bendable, hard to break, I think it's called EPP or EPO, I cannot remember, foam, and it does take a little bit of assembly, more than I thought. You have to glue the main stuff on, like the horizontal stabilizer, vertical, the main wing, a little bit of gluing, but I did that with my hot glue gun, and uh, we'll see how it flies. If it's good, get excited. If it's not, some of you will still get excited just because of that price. So let's put it in the air and see how it does. By the way, it's linked in the description box below. Let's go. Check this out. This is really cool where the battery goes and you guys are obviously going to want to see. It's a JST Plug 2S and it comes with a 520 milliamp battery. So a little bit, but you could probably put like an 800, maybe 1000 milliamp in there. Ready? Ready. Let's go. So this plane has... Whoa, did not uh, expect it to be well, so quick. Uh, you know what? I actually took off without flight stabilization on and I thought it was in it. So that's why it took off so quickly. Uh, yeah, I didn't expect it to be so fast either. Now I kicked it over to flight stabilization when you heard it go beep, beep, that was flight stabilized mode. So now we're just flying in beginner, cruising, easy flying, kind of trainer mode. It's a little windy today. If I had to guess, I'd say maybe six or seven miles an hour of wind uh, with slightly stronger gusts. And as you guys can probably tell, there's a lot of wing waggle going on, okay? There's a aileron oversensitivity, but it is keeping it in the air. So it's not gonna, it's not gonna be like your best first airplane, but with the stabilized mode on, it's keeping it in the air. I mean, I gotta give it credit where credit's due. I don't know why my radio is singing to me like that. I think that's every minute it does that. So kind of like the arrows planes. Uh, let's go flight stabilized off. Yeah, there we go. And that's how I took off the airplane. So there's one more cool thing this airplane can do. If I don't crash it, I'm gonna show that to you. Let's go back into stabilized mode because I definitely need to trim this up. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Since when do you do that? <laughs> What's wrong? ESC caught on fire. The ESC is on fire right now? It's done. I haven't seen white smoke on an electric plane in a long time. So, uh, my battery's really hot, just so you know. Um, and I told you guys, listen, that's the other beauty of being a subscriber to our channel. We don't hold back. We have shown airplanes that Horizon has sent us exploding on camera. And if, you know, Banggood or whatever, there's a plane that exists. FMS. <laughs> FMS, any any company, uh, doesn't matter, and that's why we sadly burned some bridges uh, for, for you guys. <laughs> <Shinarsi>. <laughs> yeah. Excuse me. This happens. So, what happened? I put it back in stabilized mode, wing waggle, just trying to recover from that craziness, and it touched down. Now, the crash wasn't bad at all. The foam held up extremely well. This is a great airplane as far as the foam goes. What happened was I didn't kill my throttle right in time. So I had a little bit of resistance from the ground with my prop on for about one second, which was enough for it to shut down. So when I walked up on it, I don't know if Abby got it on camera or not. Nope. That's fine. I walked up on it and I tried to give it a little bit of elevator aileron control and I realized it's not working. So I disconnected the battery and when I uh, turned my radio off and connected the battery back in, because this airplane is actually battery in the plane first, it started smoking. I heard a sizzle, I saw smoke. Two seconds later, I quickly disconnected it. I've crashed a lot of airplanes, and I usually don't get white smoke after such an easy uh, landing. And hey, okay, I filmed your little landing crash terribly too. Well, that's so. okay, because it was unexpected. Um, it's a cool airplane. I love the durability factor of it. I love the form factor, but it won't the fly foam anymore. itself. Um, but I didn't love how it was flying. It was not handling the wind well at all. 
and then I did crash it and I've flown a lot of things you guys although this plane might not be the best plane out there hopefully you realize there's some great value to our channel what I want to tell you before you go is that because you took the time to tune in to watch this airplane I'd like to offer two different options that are flat foam flyers that'll be linked in the description box below now what I want to do is still link this because there's still gonna be people that want to know you can click it and buy it if you want to but I showed you my experience there's two better performing one is by radio link the other is by horizon uh, they'll be linked in the description box below if you like this style of airplane so it's not a complete waste of time and I'm going to encourage you guys because I fly all kinds of things planes helicopters anything that you can put in the air with a radio I like to fly and it doesn't matter if it's under hundred dollars or thousands of dollars you never know when a crash could happen so I'm going to encourage you to fly with AMA that's the Academy of Model Aeronautics whether it's a smoking fire airplane or you bump into someone's car and leave a dent it's nice to know that you're covered with insurance that's primarily what they are but they do all sorts of other things I just went to an event recently and AMA was present with like 10 or 20 employees there to answer questions you get to go to events like the Joe Nall event that I recently attended because of AMA they're AMA sanctioned events when you have AMA insurance you get to attend and fly at these events so it's really awesome uh, to be a part of that program there are a lot of benefits but again primarily they're there for insurance so I'm pretty sad about this airplane I, I really am I was hoping it would be better because there's one more feature I didn't get to show you guys which is vertical flying mode that's why I say the radio link plane is definitely better Abby and I have both flown it a handful of times so it did have hover mode we didn't get to try that today but even in regular airplane mode it just wasn't that great of a flyer so hey even though we crashed i'm still grateful we got to get out and fly and share this experience on camera with you guys and for that i thank god i also want to say a massive thanks to our patreon supporters because we couldn't do what we do as often as we do without your amazing support and if you're into flat foamy flyers like this a little bit of 3d capability and you want to see something that's definitely better bang for your buck super high performance compared to this but still not super expensive we'll have that video popping up right about now thanks for watching we'll see you there bye